Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you could see it and you could purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Launched in 2004, this is the Vacheron Constantin Malt Chronograph. Reference 47120 in white gold. It is a 41.5 millimeter historically inflected modern day dress chronograph. A gorgeous contemporary competitor to the Patek Philippe 5070G. It's an easy watch to wear on my 16 centimeters circumference wrist. The watch is relatively slender at 11 millimeters thick and you can see that its strong and expressive lugs do somewhat angle downward and wrap around the wrist with a lug to lug measurement of 48.8. It is a contemporary watch with a 22 millimeter spacing between those malt style lugs. Now you may be wondering isn't the malt collection a tonneau watch collection? Well it later became such. Initially the malt collection was defined more by its lug profile than its case shape and it was later merged with what was formerly known as the Royal Eagle collection to create the modern malt tonneau cases. The watch is glorious and the strap is substantial. Jumping in a little bit closer, let's give ourselves some more light. The strap is medium rectangular scale alligator leather with a little bit of bolstering down its center, sheer sides showing the layers of construction, a monotone stitch, turn it upside down, you can see a more conventional calfskin and this is a brand new Vacheron Constantin factory strap no gouging. Jumping to the pin buckle, it's a simple Maltese cross, white gold pin buckle, but I appreciate the attention to detail, both the cross itself and the little revetment or kerf for the pin inside the buckle. Rolling to the case, this is where the watch finds all of its personality and then some. As the case band is gloriously hand finished, yes, part of that is the polish that gives it a mirror shine, but some of that is also the manual finishing that creates the sharp break between the welded profile of the lug and the case band itself. So that sharp break is manually finished, removing all evidence of the welded joint. There's a little bit of a eagle claw downward tuck to the lug. You can see that little claw style turnabout at the end, as well as a fluted shoulder that breaks up the visual mass and creates a bit of elegance where Otherwise, you might have seen an overpowering mass of gold. On the crown side, another Maltese cross, this one in the image of a propeller, and I appreciate that Vacheron went to the mat with the details here, as the pushers themselves both have concave surfaces on their outer faces. There's also a shouldering for these two pushers to give them a little bit more protection against cheering as well as more visual muscle. The bezel is relatively shallow and conical. You can see it has a double step at its outer edge and at its inner step where it abuts the sapphire. Now the dial is a lovely guilloche, silver metallic, with an undulating rose lathe interference wave pattern that runs from left to right. There is a telemeter outboard which can be used to gauge the distance of Originally, it was artillery shell impacts. The telemeter was a military application that would be used in conjunction with the chronograph and the known speed of sound at sea level. You also have sunken registers with blued hands for chronograph minutes and chronograph seconds. How much do you love the skeletonized diamond style index at the end of the seconds hand? Of course, the dial with white gold hands at center, and you can see the broadsword style hands have been half frosted to increase their contrast against the silver base. White gold indices in medallion form as well as white gold Arabic numerals. Now the watch is a manual wind and you can see there's a very subtle profiling of the crown. It's actually wider at its outer face than it is at its base. Vacheron sweats the details. This is caliber 1141, 21 joules, manual wind, 18,000 vibrations per hour, 48 hour power reserve. You can see that Vacheron uses an overcoil hairspring adjusted in five positions and it is a traditional lateral clutch column wheel chronograph and the column wheel head, as you can see, is entirely black polished, as is the screw at its center. Now, when you disengage the chronograph, you can reset everything using the hammers that fall on the hard cams. It is a beautifully finished descendant of the Lemagne 2310 Abauch, also used by Patek Philippe, for example, in the 5070. The balance beats away at its slow pace with its handmade Breguet overcoil, and if you look carefully, you can see that there's a sort of wire running from the bridge for the escape wheel 
to the bridge for the balance. And that little wire is a hairspring hook guard designed to prevent the overcoil, and you can really see the dog leg of the overcoil from hooking on the regulator. It's a shock tolerance mechanism that's rarely seen on modern watches, but was once standard fare on many classical chronographs. Finish is top notch. It is not Geneva Hallmark, let me be clear. I'm not sure if that's because they decided not to cap the column wheel, but the finish is of that level. There is no compromise here. The wheels themselves feature chamfered spokes as well as inner circumference. There is satin on their face. You can see there is Cote de Genève across the bridges. There is satin on all of the steel levers of the chronograph. There is mirrored anglage, and you can see it well from this angle, not just on the edge of every bridge, but also on the edge of all the chronograph levers and substructures. There is also a round collection of black polished components, both screws and swan's neck regulator, as well as the top of the crenellated towers and center fixing screw of the column wheel. This is as good as it gets, and winding it in the hand is a tactile pleasure. You'll also appreciate that there is an engine turned perlage on the base plate. Handsomely executed, impeccably tuned, very traditional, and at 41.5 millimeters, a modern wearable size for a men's dress complication. See this white gold malt chronograph and make it yours on the watch box. Thanks.